up, zooby de bop. It's another episode of the Snowmads. Today we're in Twin Falls, Idaho. Beautiful, beautiful area. Home of scooters chilling and grilling. Michelle was just about to take another juicy bite when two old friends had to reunite. Sometimes life throws a curveball at you and you're just not ready to catch it. <laughs> We're gonna show you some beautiful disc golf courses in Rock Creek Park, right in downtown Twin Falls. All was swell until Michael lost his disc in the river. This marmot was watching the whole time and he never came down to help. Later on, we'll show you how to do some porcupine hunting. And let's not forget about the hundreds of stray cats that Michelle took the time to feed. All that and more on this episode of It's the Snowmads. So you take your boots off and dive on into this adventure. It's going to be a good one. Hello. If you have been following our channel for a while, you may have noticed that we have recently ran into a pan dilemma the last time we tried to make pancakes. I don't think it's not stick anymore! The hell with you! I decided this time I'm not gonna buy the $30 pan with five times ceramic coated blue diamond bogus. I bought myself the cheapest pan I could find at Walmart. $10. Ah, this has a a heavenly glow to it this morning. This is a fine breakfast. Pancakes, eggs, and hand-cut bacon. Delicious way to start off the day. And happiness came our way when we bought that $10 nonstick pan. So, things are looking up for the snowmads. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn's Cauldron, BLM land with brewing, brewing with so many recreational opportunities. I see so many rocks to scramble upon. I see a river that narrows down. I'm guessing there's going to be some sweet waterfalls down there. Let's go down and see what Lynn Cauldron's got to offer. Well, I've lost sight of Michelle. She decided to take a different route. I hopped around the rocks and didn't get too snowy. Play a little game of hopscotch, a little hot lava, if you will. And uh, we're here at the waterfall, a set of three. I'm gonna continue to make my way down and see what treasures I could explore. Look at all those crazy rock formations, all carved out by the old Snake River. Let's put some river through your liver. After filming the waterfalls, I found this funny little bird hanging out on the rocks, bopping around. Oh, and there's Michelle. Hey, Michelle, there's a bird underneath you. Don't move yet. I'm trying to get some photography. Oh, she doesn't seem to hear me. The waterfalls must be a little large, so she just keeps on coming down. I guess I'm just going to see how this goes, see so get what action I can. The bird so far seems to be unaffected. She's continuing to climb down. Bird's looking a little agitated. Michelle, hold off that bird. Oh, no, no, that's... Let's just see how it plays out, I guess. Where'd Michelle go? There he, there's the bird. Oh, there's Michelle again. Hey, Michelle, how's it going? Yeah, good to see you too. Eh, don't worry about the bird that I'm trying to film. Anyhow, 
it's time to get going. We got to go to the bathroom, so uh, let's uh, run back up. It's been fun at Lynn's Cauldron, but uh, we got to get up on the road. We've got places to see, places to be. Today's a glorious day. It's been over a year since we've been to Scooters Chillin' and Grillin'. This place has phenomenal burgers and huge brews. We're gonna go kick it at Scooters Chillin' and Grillin'. I ordered this burger with pulled pork and onion rings, some big blob of cheese. I think there's avocado in there and there's a big burger, there's bacon or anything. Oh my, there's a little potatoes that are covered in parmesan and garlic. And it's just gonna be really great on this. Here we go. Oh yeah. I'm talking to you. Yes. Today, this snack that Jordan gave us, because he didn't like them, we didn't like them either. So the cats are gonna enjoy them today. These are crispy chip fish skins. They're just made of fish, they smell like fish. The chips, they're crunchy, and I think the cats might like them. We'll find out. Hi guys, who wants a chip? Here you go. Oh yeah.
and this is where Michael's first throw landed. Say words first. Hey, tell us. I hate this. I want to go to Rock Creek. I really want to go with my first go to Rock Creek. That's what Michael said. I've been going. Glad she missed. Well, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Even breakfast though you, time? Breakfast time and the snowmads hitting the snow and maybe filming some snowboarding action. Look at what Michelle made. And maybe just filming some eating action. Oh my goodness. This is a breakfast bagel of champions. Mm. Yes. What are you waiting for? Let's eat. Good morning. We are here at Pomerail. Pomerail. We're on chair 88. We didn't do the easy chair just to start off with because we don't need that. We don't need that. We've been told they have 165 inches of base. Or so we've been told. We are going to jam like toe jam. Yeah, potato toe jam. Potato jam, actually. Toe jam. Because potatoes. It's evening, it's dusky time. We just paid $7 to get into the state park where we had to hike five miles just to get to this point, which is not even the trailhead. But we're gonna have a few more miles to hike, probably three or four before we get down to the waterfall and the main attraction. And uh, let's hope that it was worth the money. We found ourselves a porcupine, buddy. He's a little scared, but we just wanted to say hello to this guy and uh, tell him, you know, not to worry. It's, it's the snowmads, don't you worry. Fish gotta eat, birds gotta swim. 
Hey, come here. Hey, no, don't you, don't you do that tail. We just ran into our second porcupine. Porcupine. Look at this guy. Hey, you. You get out of there. We got another porcupine up here. I just saw it. Up this way. Quickly. Ah. There he is. I hear him. Flushing porcupines out. It's not my official job. Oh, you hear him? I hear him I see him. You see him? I see him. He's going up. He's past the next juniper. The next juniper. What? He's up here. Is he climbing? Yes. Yeah, he's on the roof. Get him. Oh. Alas. Another two porcupines got away. Climbed into the rocks. Hid laid a scat trail in the opposite direction, led me off, and then began to throw rocks. You followers on our YouTube account, don't just think you can outrun a porcupine, especially if you're in sagebrush, going uphill in some basalt box canyon cliffs. That's where the porcupine has the advantage. What? Nicely done. Here we go.